Um, Blade Fury to come after it, after it, after it, after it. Are we British? Yeah. Venomancer, Gale. Taking their time though, maybe they're also deciding on how EG is gonna run things and how maybe they're gonna run something entirely different. A Morphling, of course, pretty nice against a Juggernaut. You can just replicate yourself out of the Omni Slash. Buck can face shift himself out of the Omni Slash. A lot of stops already for that one. Ooh, they go for it. Like I said it at the start, right? It's one of their signature heroes that they often do with the Shadow Demon. This doesn't have a Shadow Demon. I did see on the chat earlier that uh, apparently someone knew the stand in 6116 that he has Marana as a, as a signature hero. And if you were here the entire evening, then you know that that was indeed said. And we might see what that actually means because he's gonna play it without a real setup to Sable. Apart from maybe, like, a set of the arrows without a real set of the same, I mean, skill shots, you know? You have got the shackle to help out, maybe entangles as well, maybe gales, kind of a set of thing, but it's still, it's a lot different than what I was expecting, and we're gonna see how well it works out, obviously. Only after the gen gets picked up by uh, Venus, apparently they still roam around. Oh! Oh! Sorry, that was me clapping. That means we're gonna see Demon Keep of Light. I totally didn't think about it. I was just stuck on thinking about what Carry 4 of C went without even realizing that... E.g. they've got themselves to support too much, so that will mean offlane coddle by Demon as he has done that before. It's very, very fun to watch. Prepare Morph skilled up first by fear, morphing fully into agility. Apparently finding himself quite safe. Look at his health bar, it's kind of sad. But he did pick up the race band, so he's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a ton at level 1. So, uh, EG on the dire side. Beat is playing the Chen for his team. We'll be going into the jungle. Fear on the Morphling, taking up the carry roll. Jail, Puck, mid lane. And on the bottom lane, looks like we're gonna have a bit of a dual lane. Bamboo on the Earth Shaker. Demon on the Keeper of Light, of course. This is fun to see. Because we have got ourselves two off laners that are probably the most high risk, high reward players off laners that I know in Western Dota. So it's very. I, I, I really like that. I really like to see that. Ping goes off. There is, of course, a ward already up on the high ground for EG, so they see everybody walking past. Let's see who's playing what. Krilly, of course, on a signature lone druid. We've got Blomberg playing the Windrunner, so it'll be a solo mid Windrunner. Marana played by 6116, as he is the carry for the team now that he is standing in for 4FC. With Matrim not here, Strangby rotating to a support lane. Support role, rather. And Venomancer is gonna be his hero of choice. Already picks himself up a smoke. With Boomski on the Enchantress. Be ready for some early game aggression from these two. Of course, Puck is not the easiest hero to gank, but perhaps they wanna try and find the Chen in the jungle or something like that. But yeah, they walk past the ward and... With the haste run up on Venomancer, can't really find uh, fear though. The rotation is complete. Like, look at that. Jo goes top. Because they don't want to put that Morphling up against an aggressive trialing. So Morphling is going to be roaming mid. Going to be up against a Windrunner. With Morphling so much in agility though, he's going to be taking a lot of harassment from the Windrunner. Come on, don't do that. Sorry for that, people. I was distracted by the mid lane. And I was not expecting Puck to die. Puck is a hero that doesn't die. He has an orb to escape. Of course he got Gailed, he got arrowed apparently as well. And Enchantress came in with the creep, but... Oh my god, that shouldn't have happened. First blood goes away of 4FC. First first blood I missed today. Happens sometimes. Fisher already used by Bamboo to stop the bear from going in on the high ground. But he couldn't stop him also from going down to the low ground, so... This bear is gonna have a tough time up against that Fisher. Then again, uh, send, like, popping off those uh, clarities is gonna be quite nice. 4 of C, making the war their uh, lane work, forcing Beatus out of the jungle, giving him a hard time. And their safe lane going the way of Curly. Four last hits only though, lane. he's not getting his bear to last hit either. He's just making the bear stop doing the uh, Earthshaker thing. Like, Earthshaker's got the th this thing where he can pull the um of harassment here where he can pull the creep wave that he has like this like he, what he, exactly what he's doing now towards the ancients but this bear is going to be there to try and pull the creep wave back make sure it doesn't matter 
In the meantime, rotation comes from the supports, but be this, or sorry, fear will be fine. Level 3 Morphling right now. Uh, the creep wave still went to Weight of the Ancients, so Bear not doing enough. Smoke goes off there as well. Bear not scouting it out. Bear is actually gonna get summoned back. Smoke for Bamboo and beat is going for the Lone Druid, most likely. Grilly already down to half HP, only has one Tango left and is eating one at the moment. And his Bear not too high on HP as well. An Invis rune even by Bamboo, that's gonna make it a lot easier as well. Beatus takes himself a new creep. Gets himself a Wild Wing Ripper. Krilly, you better run, here comes the Fisher. Right side for Krilly. At least right side for EG, and that's gonna be Krilly going down. He's gonna try to run for it, but the block is there coming up from Beatus. Illuminate flies through as well, and that's the one that gets to kill Bamboo, or sorry, Demon with the last hit on his Keeper of Light. Nice pick up there. Going the way of EG. And getting some arrest with them on the tower as they go. Meantime, Blumberg sitting on 8 for 2 on the mid lane. Fear, 14 to 8. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Doing okay in the mid lane. Doing a lot better than Blumberg. Well, not a lot, but actually, well, one third better is quite a bit. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And he has got his bottle. I don't think he has to leave his lane anytime soon. I'm quite surprised this lane is still going the way it is. As in, I mean, they're, they're winning the lane. Of course, they took the first bot, but sacrificing the lone druid for it, I don't think that's going to be worth it. They are also sacrificing their tier 1 tower, as we do see EG just taking away the creep wave, so they will be able to push the tower. Puck might be in some trouble. Going to be able to get him away with the orb and the phase shift, like uh, good pucks do. Maybe 4 of seeking makes something happen here as well though with the push, but I mean it's not really it's not really ideal here for, for them to sit here. Like 14 to 4. Geo's still getting last, it's an experience. Might not be as much, but it's still gonna be uh, more than Krilly is getting, for example. At the same time. The one that's farming here on the bottom lane is not really doing anything. Like it's it's tough to compare though. Like you can't you, Fear is the carry of EG, right? Fear is the carry of EG, so you can compare him to Marana, perhaps. Gale is dodged. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Maybe you can compare him to the Lone Druid. That's the main difference that Core of C has. They've got two of those cores. EG only has got the one. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. You can turn in the puck to a bit of a core, but the way that he's going is not really Radiance gonna happen. Tower, tower goes down. Fallen. Bit of extra gold going away of EG. Demon. 1800 gold in his inventory could go for a very fast mechanism allowing Beatus to buy maybe different items or vice versa Demon gets himself a four staff or something helping his team Even a blink dagger who knows bamboo rotating behind the tower gonna be going for Krilly here making his life even more of a hell than it already is right now He does resummon his bear Back towards him that is I'm gonna pull the creep wave behind the tower with it in comes bamboo Question is, do they want to dive? And it's daytime, of course. Yeah, the rain script sees Bamboo, and Bamboo will back off because of it. Jo trying to pull the wave. Look at that harassment. This Strangby is actually doing quite a bit. Doesn't matter, though. The poison ticks actually from uh, from the poison. Uh, from Poison Sting actually helps a little bit. Make sure the creep wave follow Strangby. And therefore go towards the neutrals. Blomberg missed from the low ground. Doesn't get the last hit. He is 21 to 4. Fear 29 to 14, so quite a lot of denies. Ooh, from behind. Let's see. Here comes Boomski. Centaur Sun missing, and that is Jo getting himself out. Still getting slowed though. In comes the Gale, perhaps as well. Strangby can't get in range, can't get a Gale. He doesn't have even, have even have mana for a Gale, so won't be able to get it. Maybe they can take the tower though. A little bit lower, Marana. 27 last hits. So VG doing better in terms of gold. Dyer's structures are fortified. Fortification comes Radiant. off from AG. Seeing what they can do with that. Hmm. Microphone is not off in game. No. Dyer's top tower has fallen. At least I think it's not. I can re really plug it in. There's someone in my chat that can. Let me know if my microphone inside the game client is actually working, or someone in Dota TV that's listening to me right now. You can see if it's working or not. Is it working? Is it working or not? So, fear! 
He is not having to rotate. Like, normally you'd expect, like, when things are going well in the mid lane, you rotate, get kills. But he's a Morphling, so he doesn't do that. Rotations have come from Blumberg, though, to try and help their other lanes. I mean, fine, they're not really dying, but they're also not really getting ahead. In comes Beatus. He might actually die. In comes a Fisher Blumberg. On the wrong side of the Fisher for him, but in comes the TP. Shackle don't latch. The Gil only hits the, hits the Centaur. Beatus, he's microing the Centaur. <laughs> Standing still for a second there. That's gonna be a leap over the edge. Gets himself bamboo, perhaps. No arrow, no mana. Fisher goes down, and Mirana won't be able to get bamboo anymore, I think. No kills here in the mid lane. Fear just continues last inning because he can. Illuminates to fly through. Bamboo. Gonna go for Boomski here and wave from over the top to finish it off. Demon with the last hit with it. Nature's attendant still flying around a puddle of blood. It's kind of sad. Sixty-one, sixteen. Sitting on forty-four to, uh, for, well, four hundred and forty gold. I mean, he's not really like he's not doing bad, as in he's not dying. But I mean, look at the net worth, right? I mean, he's ha he's doing best of his team, but he is a Miran. He's not going to be able to contribute as much as, for example, a Morphling will. And that means that you kind of have to get ahead faster than a Morphling would right now to do something in a mid game before the Morphling is too big to deal with. Meantime, Lone Druid is going to be the one for 4 of C to save the day, perhaps, but he has already died once. He's been shut down, and it looks like EG is thinking he's shut down enough. And I am going to be retoggling my microphone on and off, as we will see. Bamboo can get the last hits. Fisher. Leak towards the low ground. Wow, he also makes a nice sound with that. New bird. Anyways, retoggling my microphone on and off. It's what pro people do. Off and on. Boom. Done. The way to do it. See if that works. Fear mid lane. Again. Ring of Aquila. I mean, you know. I understand. Oh, Mick was working. Okay. I will sell admin. Thank you, people from the chat and free people from Loda TV as well, to make sure to let me know that my microphone was working. So that's that. Ooh, ooh demon mechanism pop. I'm TPing himself out. So it wasn't a demon that ended up going for the mechanism, and that means that Beatus is going to be able to buy a bit different items. He's going to go for the Vlads, apparently. And we'll make sure with that. Wait a second. I hear an arrow flying, but fear. Not gonna let himself get hit. He's taking a lot of damage though, but we'll be able to be okay. He's got bottle charges. He's got the Wii for him, as in he can just get himself out of any location. But yeah, I mean, I I I understand this new style of playing for EG, and it's safe. It helps them win games. Gale hits still. Boo, strength. Be careful. Gets away from over the top. Now we from on cooldown though, and fear morphing into strength. Gets an arrow. Gets a star storm. Gets a oh, gets a ton of damage on him, but it's not enough. Mechanism will be there. Shackle to a tree though. Dream Cold comes in. It comes Jo. Blumber gonna get picked off there. That's a kill for the puck, and everybody else on 4 C backs off, and they won't be able to get fear, even though they tried so hard. Is he actually gonna try this? He does have a leap, but he doesn't have anything else. Starstorm, there we go. Now he has something else. Now he has a kill. They go on Demon and tangle up on Jo. Krilly incoming. Arrow hits up on Demon as well. Miss from the low ground, doesn't matter. Demon will end up dropping. Jo will walk himself out 3 to 4. Here's the kill score right now. In the end, a 2 for 2 trade in the mid lane, which definitely favored 4 of C because Mor M Mirana didn't die and Morphling did die. And even Lone Druid coming in to kill. Getting an assist for himself. 14. 100 gold in his inventory. Is he still gonna go for the radiance is the question. We don't know. We don't know. Here it comes back. Already morphing still summon summon agility. It's giving him st that last hit power. Lomberg. And with that one shackle, he did help out. For a little while. If he was still able to pick up a kill. Assist. Blink dagger up on Jo. Now that will help. <clears throat>
in terms of getting more aggression on the map because that's kind of what we lack like we know EG is an aggressive team right I mean they, they they're known for their throws and you know I find it I, I don't really want to call it throws but the reason why you call it that is because they just try things they try to go for aggression and sometimes it doesn't work out and then you can consider it a throw but they don't seem to do that at all this game and it's kind of sad because we want to hear blood flowing see blood flowing hearing blood flowing would be a bit gross actually for 4FC, they, they are quite happy with the way things are going. I mean, they don't want to have... They don't want to start pushing once they're... Until their lone druid is farmed up. I mean, that's understandable. Whoa, wait a second. Strangby, gonna go down. I mean, of course EG is still gonna go for those safe pickups. Just one Fisher with the ward of the high ground. They knew exactly what they were getting into. Get themselves a kill. Even went for four versus one Venomancer, right? I mean, that's as safe as you can get. Blink, Dream Coil. Doesn't look like Blomberg is in any risk though. Pops the uh, Windrun, anyways. Grinly. Keep coming back to him to see how much he's farming. And he is doing well with keeping up now with the farm of the Morphling. Considering how bad of an early game he had, that hand of Midas is really paying off right now. And he's really back into this game. And the top, the, the cores for for the for the net worth are actually looking quite nice. Like radiant dire, radiant dire, radiant dire. Supports looking fairly even. Just venomancer being a little bit low, but then again, you know, he's a venomancer. So what can you expect? But yeah. Keeper of the Light is one of those top three farmers, I just want to point that out. I mean, he's got his mechanism ready, he's got himself a four staff in the making. This is a pretty farm cuddle of the light. Yes, I said that on purpose, just so you're aware. We got some treads up on Boomski though, he might be able to turn into a semi-carry later on. And Chen, same thing goes for him all. Not really the same thing, actually. He's not going to be as big of a semi-carry. He's going to be a crowd control hero with the hand of Midas, or sorry, hand of God rather. <laughs> no hand of Midas on this gen, but a hand of God to help out with the team fights. And of course, it's going to be handy also when the Venomancer pops his ultimate out. You want to have some heals. You want to have a pipe, of course, ideally, but that's going to be a, quite a far away. In the meantime, top lane, Venomancer in a lot of trouble. Here comes Fear. Moonlight Shadow keeps trying to be safe. And they might actually decide to go for that. Look at that harassment still a little bit going through. The Gale was already up on Fear, so it slows him down, but he's gonna be just fine. In comes the Chen, pushing starts to happen. TP's incoming, they know that Fear is still hanging around there. The arrow comes in, it's actually not hitting anymore. They still know that he's there. Oh, it looked like an arrow, surprisingly. Fear is able to TP himself out. Yeah, it was an arrow. Thank you. I'm not crazy. Tower still goes down, not getting denied, so 4 seek quite a, mi a bit of a misplay. In the meantime, Krilly gets himself an entangle upon Bamboo, but gets a dream call, tries to TP himself out. Hand of Midas will keep or Hand of God will keep Bamboo safe. And Lone Druid will die in his base. And why, you ask? Because of the dream coil tick. That is why. Still take the tick if you go to the base. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Mechanism up on Demon. We already saw that. Four staff up on Demon. That's the one that Korea is bringing right now. I was confused there for a second. Sorry, slightly distracted there. Not gonna happen. Fear. Well, you know, he started out well. And he is still farming okay. But he's taking quite a long time for his Lincolns. Assuming that it's gonna be a Lincolns. Whoa, wait a second. Demon and Bamboo on the hunt. Who are they gonna find? Oh, hello, Boomski. Stuck. In place. The Yusha Tendons are gonna help out. Here comes Jo though. Nice shack up on Bamboo. Blomberg with a fair force or power shot. I don't think he can do much though. Get stunned up by the mana leak. In comes the Gale from Strangby. Has not got his ultimate spec, so can't be throwing that one out. Fisher comes in from Bamboo again, and nobody dies just yet. In comes the Mirana. Can he do something? Jo awkward. Jo awkward? Yes, he dies. In the meantime, Morphling is able to pick up the enchantress when uh, Boomski was trying to get away. 
still got someone around here. Bam, boom. They totally forgot about him, I think. They know that Strangby is still around here. Illuminate already chasing. Here comes the Fisher, And that's going to be Illuminate missing. But the waveform doesn't miss. Double kill going the way of Fear. Arrow comes in. Fear gets hit by it. A, a kind of an awkward leap. No stars from Yetta Marana. There it is. But it's going to be too late. And he's not going to be able to stop. Oh, that's going to stop the TP though. In comes Blomberg with the shock. What the kill? It should happen. The waveform. Mechanism helps out. Demon coming in to help. Krilly trying to get an entangle, but goes for the Keeper of Light instead. Gets it, but Fear gets himself out of life. And that's gonna be 5 to 8 in the. Like, right now in the kill score. I have to put it in favor of EG, though, still. I mean, they don't lose Fear. And Fear gets himself a double kill. They do lose Krilly in the meantime. Of course, that started very earlier on, but, you know, just for measure's sake. Of course, Marana hasn't died yet. That's good. But right now, Fear is starting to get more and more ahead. Weird fight. Weird fight. Boomski. Shackle. Nicely done, but Boomski's already dead. So, nice shackle, but, you know. No follow-up. Four heroes of EG in the middle lane. Soon to be five if Keeper of Light goes there as well. He is on his way. Radiance running, actually going towards the bottom lane, maybe pushing the lane back out as Krilly and Strangby are trying to push a little bit, but they'll still take down a tier 1 tower of EG, uh, 4FC. And that's gonna put 4FC in a place where they don't have any tier 4s left. Smoke up instantly by EG. Roshan or bottom lane is the question. Bottom lane, maybe they can take down the lone druid again. Lone druid who does have his radiance right now, or at least his relic. No radiance just yet. TP out. Strangby. TP, good dude, why are you not TPing? Thank you. And that's a career of getting safe out as well. And that's a rotation for EG, not really getting anything. But now they will end up going for the Roshan. I mean, they know that they can just take that and 4FC cannot fight back. We yeah, have got the man style starting up for Marana, almost has enough gold for a ultimate orb, if that's what she wants to do. I mean, Roshan, like I said, not going to be contested there. Maybe 4FC can get something in return, but they don't have the strength right now to fight. Shackle not going to latch. Hand of God going through because they can. And that's going to be an Aegis on the hands of Fear. Already got his Lincolns complete as well. Got ourselves the dagger, blink dagger upon bamboo, so that's gonna be a good one to have. Dyer's top tower is under attack. I feel it's slipping away from 4FC. It's frustrating to see, like, they're not losing yet. They are getting behind. Not that much on experience, more so on gold. And again in control. We saw that in game one and we see it in game two. 4FC, we know what their plan is. But their plan is getting definitely delayed by EG. Their f their farm is getting delayed. And... The question is, when are they able to, to go with their plan, to do what they want to be doing in this game, without being forced to reply to what EG is doing, as we are actually going to see Strangby going down. Nice Fisher, test of faith, illuminates, gets a kill, demon. Mighty farmed. Almost got Boots to travel if he wants to have it, which is actually a pretty powerful too in the hands of a Keeper of the Light. Just push out all the lanes. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiance, Radiance ready. It's gonna be too late with the question. Bamboo already is sitting ready for a Fisher or a Blink Echo, whichever he wants to do, or maybe both. Tier two, tier 2 goes down, maybe the Tier 2 top goes down as well, but 4FC is gonna get forced to their base. And now that the Radiance is there, Krilly needs to be there. EG already going on the Tier. Station goes out, now here comes 4FC, they need to fight this. Bear comes in as well. 
Looking for the Radiant Sword to burn some creeps, but it's not really doing too much just yet. And Fear is not getting forced out. I mean, he's just sitting there, you know, thinking, I can get this. Nice shackle gets Jayo. Maybe Jayo goes down. Mechanism is going to be there, though. Here comes the Star Storm. Leaping. Echo Slam. Fisher. Bamboo. Massive damage. Creely in trouble. Creely. Going to be able to stay alive for a little while longer, but has to go back to base. Bamboo goes down in the end. Windrunner drops as well, so one for two, one for three, Aegis goes down, it will be of course one for two soon again, as the Morphling will get back up again. Reforms himself, out arrow misses, and that's gonna be a re- yeah. Replicate that he made. And they don't lose the racks, and they do get and Puck and Bamboo, and force out a buyback on Bamboo, and get the Aegis, only lose the Windrunner in return. They do of course lose the tier three as well, but it's still quite okay. Quite okay trade to make. Very okay trade to make, actually. I mean, keeps them in the fight, kind of shows that EG, they can't get away with this unpunished. They need to have an Aegis or they need to have a pickoff beforehand, but they can't go up high ground like this again without fear of losing too much. And even though they might get the Rex. You're at a point where just trading racks and losing a team fight is not going to be worth it yet. You need to be getting ahead. They're not that far ahead just yet that they can just lose a team fight and get away with it. So getting a pick off on someone before going in is quite important. Smoke goes off. Beat is able to run away with a very low life, but he didn't want to get burned to death, of course. Really, landing a smiley face purely because of that. But the bear doesn't know where to fall. Oh, wait a second. Dream coil up on the Marana. He cannot leap anymore. He has it on cooldown. We'll end up going down. Or will he? No. In this rune. In comes the rest. In comes a shackle. Doesn't latch. Bamboo. Gets killed off. Oh yeah. Gets killed off. Blink towards the high ground. Doesn't matter. Force until the high ground. Did they force him away? How did he get there? From the high ground. It was weird. Forced up by a teammate perhaps. Yeah, four step by a teammate, that was it. But the power shot was still there. Nice pick off. Marana doesn't die, maybe tier 1 tower goes down. In comes Jo. Nice silence, illuminate, here comes the Moonlight Shadow. 4 of C, you have to back off. Mechanism Nature Statetas might actually keep them up for a little while longer and might allow for them to try and take a fight, try and force a fight. They do end up backing off though, no mana is gonna call. Ethereal Blade now up on fear. It's gonna be a shotgun morphling. Have to be careful here. Blomberg doesn't have a four staff yet. Enchantress is gonna be hurting from that shotgun, and of course Strangby is gonna be the target that he wants to have. EG. Going all mid once again. Nope, never mind. They take a turn to the left. Although for them it was right. Yes. Oh, that's an ethereal blade right there. Shotgun to Enchantress. TPF from Marana. Was got a defusal, by the way, after Hyasha, so didn't end up finishing up her Manta style blink. Forward goes for Blomberg. Silence is there. Fisher gonna be there as well. Mechanism already popped. Can she get away? Windrun herself towards the other side of the map. We'll be able to do so. TP incoming from Demon, who indeed cut himself some boots of travel. Radiance burn, trying to do what he can without putting the bear in too much danger because you don't want to give up the bear. Like losing the bear is actually very painful. Niji, they're just going up here. Knowing that Enchantress is down. Bear, gonna get shotgunned. There is a new bear. Niji, they back off knowing that there's only gonna be one bear for a minute or so. Two minutes or so, rather. He is 2,500 gold in his inventory. Last time we saw him with this much gold, he actually went for a blink dagger. No joke. No joke. Illusion. He did lose with it, though. Oh, so actually, no! The game with the blink dagger, he actually won.
Blomberg. Trying to push the lane out. Here comes Demon with more Illuminates. Pushing the lane back on the other way. Whoa, fear.